You're listening to Jack Fisher, but looking at Peggy Whitson as they work in Simo here uh, with Whitson and the process of removing the failed multiplexer demultiplexer at the S0 truss on the backbone of the International Space Station. Fisher, meanwhile, working in tandem on a separate task, the installation of two antennas for a wireless communications capability outside the complex. Okay, Peggy, we concur it looks good, and you think it's fully released? Good view of Jack Fisher as he's working to install a pair of handrails on uh, the Destiny Laboratory, upon which a pair of wireless antennas will be mounted. Connectors, a connection point from the rear. Great. I don't know if you have that WSD, but it looks good. Copy, Peggy. Yes, we can see it in your WVS. Pair of handrails on the Destiny Laboratory of the International Space Station, which is currently flying just uh, to the west of Costa Rica on a northwest to southeasterly. And, uh, looking uh, out of the helmet camera of Peggy Whitson as she stows the failed multiplexer demultiplexer in her uh, orbital replacement unit bag. Uh, this uh, will be returned uh, to the safety of the Quest. And two fish, what was your turn number on that aft bolt? 8.29. I was working on the connectors now, Peg. Okay. You were working that first bolt? Yeah, to drive the new one in. Sweet. Cotherm right. worked out for you? Yeah, cotherm is not a problem, but. I think when that torque went up at the end, Jessica, I had to change my angle, and that's when I dropped it. 